What's up? We're here at Grandview Pro Fitness with Dr. Sean Bailey. He contacted me almost a week ago, which is very ironic because uh, I had just had the DEXA scan done in Boston and they asked if I was interested in doing one. And uh, I'm like, yeah, it'll be like exactly a week um, to see what kind of changes are, are going to happen here. So we're going to weigh myself right now. Uh, we're in Columbus, Ohio at 840 Grandview um, Avenue. And uh, I'm a little lost here. but So I'm going to weigh myself. We do the height too here. Yeah, we can do the, the height, height too. And we're going we're gonna to see what happens. So I, I was 217.8 a week ago. And you can step off for a second. And it looks like 63 and a half. Dead on. Yeah. Yes, dead on 63. So I'm still 5'3 and a half, <laughs> but I did lose 10 pounds. Should I scooch more? Maybe an inch towards, okay. yeah, that way. Perfect. That's perfect right there. Now the hardest part is getting your arms in. So yeah. you put them at your side there. You're going to have to slide to the left an inch or two. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, maybe one more scooch. Wow. Because your forearm there, your right forearm. So when we get close to your forearm, I'm going to have you really tug it in tight. Okay. We're going to put this around your knees just so, so you don't have to hold them as tight yourself. Okay, that's great. You should have one that goes around your arms. Uh, I was thinking, but I don't think they make them in your size. Oh, yeah. So. My background is as a primary care physician. Okay. Uh, I've been doing that since 2004, and my frustration was, you know, people come in and they're overweight and they've got diabetes and they're on eight medicines, and you know, the medical community and the fitness community are so separate. Right. So my thought is, let's bring them together and give them some options besides just throwing medicines at them. Mm -hmm. You know, say, hey, if you want to get off those medicines, if you want your diabetes to go away. We have all the equipment you need. We have the dietitian, we have personal trainer, massage therapist, physical therapist, all oversee everything and we'll make this thing happen. You know, So that was my original vision for this. Um, then I also realized like the DEXA scanner and some of the other metabolic tests we have is really cool for high-end athletes right. you know, to help them take their game to the next level. Right. So. so you have yet to get the backing of uh, health insurance companies? No, we... Uh, it's not something that health insurance typically pays for. No, so of course not. Sort of go to like a membership model for healthcare. Yeah. You know, we pay a reasonable monthly fee and all of your healthcare is included. You get the gym services and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So. Well, hopefully soon all these people like you, because there are lots of them popping up more and more, are going to be able to get the backing of healthcare. Because why would healthcare want everyone to be healthy? Exactly. Right. Exactly. And when you do. That is your goal. And, yeah. You know, I love it. I, I, it's very commendable what, what, right. what, what you're doing. But it needs to, somewhere down the line, be affordable for everybody. And I think, you know, our healthcare model needs to change from to more of a preventative thing. You know, exactly. we've got this huge healthcare cost epidemic. You know, everyone's, you know, unhealthy. And it's like, let's not spend all our money treating it after it's occurred. Let's spend the money on preventing it. You know, exactly. and I think that's where we need to go as a country. Exactly. Yeah. So I love it. Let's see. Uh, All right. Let, 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 let's see what's going on. Drum roll here. All right. Well, your body fat actually came back a little bit higher than last time. I thought so. Yeah. No, no. I, mean, I don't How think. Does that happen? I'm, yeah, here's what happened. 
it's a percentage. Yes. And because I lost 10 pounds and didn't drop drastically body fat wise, the percentage is now higher. Exactly right. That's yeah. my thoughts exactly. I bet if we I could, thought the exact same thing. I bet if we could see what your fat mass was last time, I yeah. bet it's about the same. Yeah. But you know, being down ten pounds, maybe being on the dehydrated water, side. Yeah. yeah, the water because that's it's measuring muscle okay. muscles water density. Yeah. You know, so that has probably made your lean mass number down. It's just yeah. you know, do the equation. So So yeah. interesting. I was thinking that as I'm laying there, I'm like, my weight is down. Uh huh. And there's no way I mean I, I I didn't do six hours of cardio a day for a week, you know. Yeah. I'm I look leaner because of my the water's out of me. But I mean, really how much leaner do I need to be? Well you can only get so lean. Exactly. You need a certain amount of fat mass to sustain life is the way I look at it. Right. You know, so and you're pretty much down to the bare minimum. I don't think right. you could lose any more fat mass. I'm hanging you know? in there. Yeah. So, so what was the number? Eight? The, the number was seven point one. Oh, okay, so we're up one percent. Yeah. Your um, total mass was 208.9, and your fat mass was 14.4 pounds. The lean mass was 187.2, and your bone mass was 7.3. What is the lean muscle? So it, it doesn't break it down muscle specifically. Everything that's oh, lean, just lean mass. so it includes things like your blood. It includes things like your the weight of your heart and your brain and all of your internal organs and your intestines. Those are all the same density as muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's basically put in three densities: bone density, which is the densest; muscle lean density, which is the middle; and then fat mass is the, the least dense of the three. Okay, so my lean mass went down almost wait twelve pounds. Twelve pounds, yeah. approximately. Yes, that's interesting. Now my guess is a week from now, you know, you eat and you drink water, and that lean mass is going to be the exact same as when you were a week ago. Right. You know. Right. Right. So, so it's, th this is often affected by uh, hydration. Um, these numbers are exactly. And uh, but I, I know I'm right where I need to be. This is interesting stuff. It very is know? very interesting. Um, really cool. Did Did you have a bone density? scan on there so that's a separate scan and oh really could, yeah it's a separate scan to get a specific bone density okay so i mean you got 7.3 pounds of bone and we know it's going to be dense because you're a resistance you know strength athlete yeah uh, strength athlete tends to have really strong bones we can do the other scan too if you'd like how about the um visceral fat measure? well let's see you have 0 0.86 pounds of visceral fat it's pretty much the exact same yeah which you would think you, that's the hardest to dig into. Yeah. So in a week's time, if my body fat didn't go down, then the visceral fat wouldn't go down. Exactly right. So that makes sense. This is all really cool stuff. Yeah. All right, beautiful. All right. Well, here's so, your report. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Let's throw my wife on there and see how fat he's doing. <laughs> Let's do it. This is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?